beer. Welcome back to another episode of Most Michigan Beer Reviews. I'm your host, James. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Northern Trippin' by Tapestry Brewing. Uh, this can looks amazing. So, let's take a look at it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to look at here. Brewed Michigan Tapestry. Northern Trippin', New England Style IPA. We have a beautiful background here. Some people kayaking. Very scenic. This looks to me like the um, the Black Rocks up north. Lots of stuff to read here. Combining artistry and chemistry. Tapestry is nestled along the southwestern shore of Lake Michigan. Much like you, we love to enjoy the wonders that the great beer state provides. Pack this juicy New England IPA for your own northern trip and adventures. It says one pint. Drink fresh. Is there a can down date? Oh yeah, right there. What's that say? December 10th, 2017. Very nice, very nice. Let's drink it. Northern Trippin'. That was the can art. This beer comes in at 6.3% ABV. And I do not know the IBUs, but since it is considered a New England style IPA, it's got to be pretty low. 40 or less, I'd say. So let's crack it. Oh, yeah. When I said black rocks, I meant the painted rocks. Painted Rocks, Michigan. I've been there. It's beautiful. I've only been there once. Um, I recorded it because I'm a dork. I loved it. So here we go. I know this is not going to fill up the whole thing, but I don't have any nautic pints. One finger head, white foam. That is a copper color. Not hazy at all. I can see through it. Quite filtered. So you're missing some points there, Tapestry, with the uh, haziness. New Englands are supposed to be hazy, come on. So what's the aroma? Ooh, aroma smells pretty good. It's very floral and sweet. Kind of get like cotton candy and fresh flowers. With a little bit of pine. A little bit of citrusy pine. Mmm, that smells pretty good. Actually, I'm getting a little honey out of there, too. Citrus, pine, honey, floral. Yum. So, let's give it a shot here. So, the taste to me is kind of floral, kind of citrusy up front. A little bit of pine and then it goes into a malty breadiness it's like a bready like flour get flour dough doughy it's kind of weird I'd say the mouthfeel is medium to thin um, there's a slight lingering Bitterness here, grapefruit. Um, it doesn't hit any of the marks for a New England style IPA. From what I know of, one is. I still haven't had an official one. So the way I rate New England IPAs is based off what I know and what is available to me here. And the top selling one, and the one I think tastes the best, is M43. So. That's what I'm basing my, um, you know, that's my baseline. M43 is my baseline for rating other uh, New England style beers. And again, I haven't had an official New England style beer, so, you know, if you don't like that, too bad. That's how I do it. That's how I rate it. You feel free to send me some Treehouse, you know, <clears throat> or some Trillium. 
so I can have a real baseline. And that's not an attack on you guys. I'm just telling you how I, how I rate sometimes. You know, what's going in on my noggin? But um, this is not a New England style IPA. This would be an IPA. Just a regular IPA. <clears throat> you know, just floral. Honey. Uh, piney. And grapefruity and citrusy and floral. So, I'm going to rate Northern Trippin'. I love this can. This can is beautiful. It's amazing. I want to go back up to the Pan Rocks. I actually want to see them in the wintertime, but I ramble. I ramble. I'm going to give Northern Trippin' by Tapestry. I'm going to give it a 3.5. I'm giving it a 3.5 because it's a good beer. It's a good IPA. It's not bad. But it is nowhere, you know, a New England style IPA. So that's why it's um, not getting higher marks here. So have you had Northern Trippin' by Tapestry? If so, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, please watch, subscribe, and vibe safely. And until next time, cheers! Man, this has been trippin'. This has been trippin' all that, man. Trippin'.